been cleared by the doctors. He has been back for a little bit of time here in FSW. And he is a guy that whether it is singles or in a tag, Graves is a guy who can wear a championship belt anytime, any place here in FSW. He definitely could, but you, you know, when you're in a three-way matchup, you're talking about a jiu-jitsu background, uh, amateur wrestling bound, Carl Fredericks have. Oh, look at this. Three-way collar and elbow tie-up. Graves, I would say, would have the power advantage. He's the one that escapes first. And right now, he's decided to let uh, Taylor and uh, Carl Fredericks uh, go at it a little bit. Stepping out of the way. Oh, and look at that. Oh, man! And as Taylor stepped out of the way, Graves ends up knocking Carl Fredericks out of the ring. And now we got Taylor and Graves. And I'm very interested to see what these two guys are going to do. Both have outstanding wrestling background. And I'm going to see a lot of counters, and I'm going to see a lot of reversals. And I'm pretty sure these guys want to see who the better man really is. Yeah, and that's one thing we're seeing the uh, grappling right now. When there's three men, it's pretty much impossible to do. But once it's gone down to one-on-one -on -one situation like this, we can figure out who's got the advantage, as Graves does right now. As he now wraps his big tree trunk-like legs around the neck of Ryan Taylor. And right now, Taylor, he is in, in a bind trying to figure out how to get out of it. But look at this, he is able to get up as Joe Graves. And we're just Oh, look at that. Look at the way he's spreading the legs of Graves. He goes right into that headlock. You know, very, very Johnny Saint style. You know, Taylor spent some time, left the United States, trained in uh, Japan for, uh, for about a yeah. year or two. With a Kayantai dojo. And look at that arm drag takedown, but look at this, Ryan Taylor. And it's great to see when a crowd is very appreciative of what they're seeing inside the ring between these two, but then Taylor. <laughs> Taylor just, cut him off, Taylor wants to win. That's right, with was a kick. And look at this. Oh, big cross body block by Fredericks. Nails Taylor, Graves able to evade it, but not that time, Graves gets caught with a kick right to the head. And Carl Fredericks, Fredericks let these two battle it out for a little and he waited for that opportunity to take advantage. And he did just that. Oh, and look at this, look at the power of Graves. But look at this, Fredericks able to reverse it and implants a face first. What does Fredericks got planned here? He's using his agility to his advantage before. Now he might be getting a little bit too overconfident. And look at that, one, two. A people's moonsault, I guess. I guess you could, that's what you could call it. And the big right hands from Carl Fredericks landing on Ryan Taylor. Oh, and look at that. Oh, I don't know, it wasn't a dragon screw leg whip, whatever it was, it looks like he really wrenched the ankle, but he got the knee. Yeah, it looked like that's what he was going for, but look at this. Oh, that is impressive right there, Ryan Taylor. And this time he connects it. Oh, it looks like he might be going for an ankle lock, but... You know what, he didn't get the ankle lock, that's effective too. He just drove Frederick's knee right into the mat. And he must have thought just like you that that move that he did earlier did something to the knee of Carl Fredericks. And now he is focusing on that. Fredericks though keeps rolling oh. to his belly. I don't know if that's a good idea as he gets set up. And Ryan Taylor is a guy that can wrap you up in a pretzel. And Fredericks better quickly get to the bottom rope or this match is going to be over. Yeah, can he hang on? It looks like his knee is an immense pain. But he's able to fight out. And right now, Graves trying to uh, recover in the corner. Oh, he cut him off. And Naylor dri Taylor drives the knee into the midsection of Carl Fredericks. And just a little uh, a little kick for good measure. Taylor reminds me a lot of, um, ironically enough, Dave Taylor. With the way he's just great with the submissions. And he doesn't waste a lot of motion with his strike. But look at the power. And look at this, Graves has got him up. Oh man, what is that? And the knee right across the side of the jaw of Ryan Taylor. Graves is incredibly explosive. Look, look at him just manhandling Ryan Taylor. And he is looking at the crowd and he has got him up. 
suplex with a twist. Dangerously drives Ryan Taylor into the canvas. And Graves pound for pound, as we've talked about it before, possibly the strongest man here in FSW. And in some people were talking about Hammerstone and Graves as a tag team, that Graves is the glue that keeps that team together. And right now, Ryan Taylor, he is in big trouble as Graves. Oh, look at that, wasting too much time. Look at the flexibility of Ryan Taylor with that kick as he swings it and he's splitting the leg. The extra pressure on the ankle, but here comes Fredericks to make sure Graves does not tap out and give Taylor the victory. And the mule kick to the midsection and Ryan Taylor, but he gets out of the way, swinging a miss, and then the boot to the side of the head. Oh, he's going for a European uppercut, but Fredericks caught it. Go for the O'Connor roll. Look at the way Taylor's just holding on to the top rope, not to be cut. Oh, he's not going to hold on much longer. And look at this, Graves. And Graves takes them both down. Graves, Graves just threw about 400 pounds through the air. That, the that is his power on display. Incredible. And look at that, you can hear the crowd getting behind Graves. Who now with a good old fashioned right hand to the jaws, him and Fredericks, they are firing back toe to toe. Both men, both men slugging it out, dead center in the ring. And, and it looks like Graves is taking the advantage. Oh, and look at this, he misses. Tried that kick again, ankle lock time. This wrenching around on the ankle, Ryan but, Taylor. Breaks it up. And look at this. Graves has reversed it. He has got Taylor up. Oh, and right there, he was in no man's land as Graves nails Frederick to the side of the head. And this could be it. One, two. Only a two count as Taylor trying to finish off. He doesn't care who it is. He wants to get out of Dodge. He wants to pin whoever is there. And right now, Ryan Taylor once again taking control of this matchup. That's what you gotta do. You gotta try to isolate one of them. It might not work out, but it's what your game plan has to be. But Ryan Taylor. I'm not sure. I've never not seen it too often. Taylor trying to get the crowd behind him for some odd reason. Well, you know what? He's trying to feed off their energy as he goes to the sky. Looks like he jammed his neck on that sit on the top of go attempt. And once again, oh, and look at that, Fredericks. Desperation move, kick to the side of the head. And he is, you know, staying toe to toe with these guys. Every time it looks like, it looks like Fredericks is going down. He manages to keep himself in the match. Oh, but he hits the set time of time ago. He might One, have Graves. Two. Oh. You know, what a big win it would be for Fredericks. What a humongous victory it would be here, especially against men of the caliber of Ryan Taylor and Graves. And there is no doubt that Fredericks is the underdog in this matchup. Many people believe it's going to be Taylor or Graves, but Carl Fredericks knows he's got to pull out all the stops. A guy six foot four, he's going to the top rope. But look at that, Ryan Taylor. He got caught up on the top there. Cross, and what is Ryan Taylor? What's Ryan the, Taylor gonna do? The big boot to the head, but look at this. Didn't do enough damage on Graves. And the final cut as down goes Taylor. And look at this, Graves has got him. Oh, and down he goes. One, two, three, and there you have it.